Hey, hello. Um, my name is David. So I am the Python tutor. Well, first of all, I, I want to tell you that the learning programming is not an easy task, but it is simple. But you should just stay focused, and um, you will, you will, you will scale it through. So now, if you have your your Python installed already on the system and your Visual Studio Code, what next are you gonna do? It's for you to open your Visual Studio Code. Okay, there are so many different ways of doing this. Okay, is it that you you just um, create um, a Python file from your desktop, or you can just you can just um, open your Visual Studio Code. Okay, you can double click and open it. Okay. After that, um, what you're gonna do is you go to files up here. Okay, and what you're gonna do is click on a new file, right? So here yeah, is gonna ask you, okay, which is it a text file or a Python file or a Jupyter notebook that supports the IPA, IPY, and G or MP support. Okay, and you got a new Java class for the Java project. But now we're gonna do a Python program. It's not Java, so we're not gonna use Java class. Okay, what you're gonna do now is select this Python file. Yes, you can as well do Jupyter notebook, but it is um for now. For now, we're gonna be using the Python file so you click on python file okay and we'll wait okay you're gonna show something like on title um description on the on the bar so i'm gonna wait a little while but i already have my stop set up so i'm just trying to show you how you can do this on your own without okay any stress is it taking time to load okay we we'll just give it a few more minutes because um it's not supposed to take this long. Okay. It's not supposed to take this long. CLS is some type in there is for is when we are we are clearing up the terminal. We don't want anything clustering. And so the terminal is on a fresh background. Okay, we just click on type the CLS which means clear screen. Okay, um, well, we're still waiting for our stuff to open. What I'm going to tell you is that, okay, there is what we call strings and it's what we call integers. And it's what we call float point numbers, but that's not what I'm going to do now. What we're going to do now is string because string has to do with um, text. Okay. Oh, it's here. So this is it now. Okay. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do now is I'm telling you, I'm going to show you how to write the first project or you write the first program using Python. Uh, in some other some other uh, programming languages um, like Java, we use a system that has a print line, open bracket, and other stuff before you write your text inside or write anything and program you want to write inside of it. But now, since we're using Python, Python is quite more, very very more simple. Okay, you just do the print. Okay, this print. Okay, print means display whatever I have in some parentheses in the terminal. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is um what follows next after the prints is um double parentheses. But since I'm using a Visual Studio Code, it is quite more simple because if I just put one one this is starting start starting of the um parentheses, the other one gets completed automatically. So it is done now. Okay, what I'm gonna do now since the text file is a it's a string, we use either the double double quotation or the single. But for now, I'm gonna be using the double. Okay, so I put double. So whatever I put inside, I write inside my my um my quotation marks is what's gonna be displayed on the terminal. Okay, so I'll be writing hello world. Okay, since it is my first project. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'll do now is to click on save, like Control S. Okay. Now let's wait for it to show. Us. To name our file because since our file doesn't have a name, it will ask for us to name it and where to save it. Okay, I'm gonna save mine on the desktop. Okay, this is it. On title, okay, I'm gonna change the name to let's say first program or yes, first underscore program. I just want to tell you something about them um, saving the file in Python is for easy access when you're gonna access this file in your terminal. You're gonna have to not to separate 
if there are two words you're not going to separate them what you do to separate them is you put an underscore between the two words okay if you if you write without putting an underscore it's going to be an error or sometimes you, if you're trying to access the file through your terminal you might have a problem accessing it so you might want to put dot pi or you can just leave it because it's already a python file so i'm putting dot pi because i'm trying to let you know or the computer know that this is a python file okay after that is done i know the save on desktop i'll come and click on save okay and here it is saved now so you face program dot pi click on All right. Uh, okay. Let's save. Okay, we're gonna try and run that, run that file now. Click on this play button here. That looks like a play. It's a play button. It says run Python file. That's what we're gonna do. So wait. Let our Python file execute. Okay. Wow. This is a face program. Hello world. Wow. That's very nice. So this is as very simple as that. You you just write the prints and double parentheses and double quotes and inside the quotations we have your program written inside so there are a lot of things you can do you can write and to display okay if i want to display something like um how are you okay yeah save and run how are you guess display so so what you notice here in the output is that i didn't have i didn't see any prints print here i didn't see any parentheses or quotation marks so it means that whatever is between the quotation marks is what is going to be displayed on the terminal okay it is as simple as that so um maybe let's clear the screen all right let's clear it now so that's how you can write your first program using python so thank you for watching do uh, to subscribe to my video or to my channel and like and make a comment if you have any question so thank you very much my name is david